Does anybody ever go outside and stare at the car? Especially if you're the one who like did all the mods to it, because I know I do, because this car is beautiful, bro. In today's video, man, I'm gonna tell you guys why I bought a Knife Gen SI, AKA Dusty. Um, you guys probably wonder why I call her Dusty. It's because she's literally always dusty, bro. Like, I could wash this car, and like literally the next day, the car looks like it wasn't washed. It's, oh, not, not necessarily it doesn't look like it was washed. You just see like a lot of like dust on it. And I don't know if that's because of my roof, or I don't know, bro. I don't know, it don't, it don't really mean. Why am I dark as hell? My camera just said, damn, boy, you black as hell, but damn, I'm really this black, bro, come on. Bro, I'm not this black. Yo. Five minutes later. We're gonna be explaining to you guys, well, I'm gonna be explaining to you guys why I got Dusty, and uh, the reason why she's always Dusty, pretty much. Bro, Stop I ain't this black. <laughs> like I was saying, I don't know why Dusty gets this Dusty, but hey man, the name definitely fits her. So before we get into this video, I just want you guys to know that I am gonna do a little small merch drop. Not gonna be nothing serious like shirts and jackets and stuff like that, but more of the like like car things, more like uh, stickers, air fresheners, um, stuff like that. So yeah, stay on the lookout for that. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, my underscore got the soda, so you can stay up to date when I do do the drop. And also, the, here's a little preview of a tee that I'm working on. I don't know if you guys like it, it says Zuby right here, and then this, like the Japanese logo, is, it says Fate. I forgot what it's called. Actually, I don't even know how you pronounce it. It's like Ken, Ken something, but yeah, it means Faith. And on the back, I don't know how I'm gonna show you guys the back. I just put like a picture right here, and you guys can see it. But on the back, it says Fate and Love, and then it says Zuby down the middle. So if you guys like that design, I'll probably, I'll probably make some tees. Um, if you guys don't like it, then this tee is gonna be for me. But uh, yeah, man, now we can jump into this video. Let's get it. All right, man. Hopefully, you guys can hear me well. Like in every video, bro, I gotta get gas. I don't know why, like, I never just fill up my tank after I get off of work. I guess it's because I get off of work late, and it's just like, bro, I wanna go home and, like, go to sleep. So let's go fill up the car with some gas. You guys heard that pop? You guys probably hear it because this mic sucks, but that pop was nice. There's one thing I love about Dusty, bro, or just the knife gens in general, is that, bro, it don't take a lot to fill up the tank, bro. That was only $20, bro. Right here, so you guys can see it. 
And boy, oh boy, that EK Coupe was beat up. Well, for the year it was 96. It wasn't really that bad. But it did have a swapped motor and uh, it was tuned and all that craziness. So, like, it was a little risky buying it. But I did it so I could learn how to drive manual. But that car had problems, bro. Like, the starter. Well, it, it wasn't a the starter. They had a kill, a kill switch on it. But they didn't know that they had a kill switch on it. And it gave me the car, bro. So, I bought the car. And I'm driving home and I stalled. Mind you, this is my first time ever driving. Well, second time ever driving manual. And I, I'm driving, like, probably 10 miles away from my house. 10, 15 miles away from my house. And I stalled in the middle of, this, in the middle of rush hour in 441 if you guys know 441 in florida you guys know that that road this is state road it gets pretty like pretty packed with cars around like four o'clock five o'clock and that's the time i was driving home so i stalled i stalled the car and when i stalled the car it wouldn't it wouldn't turn on so my girlfriend thank you babe she got out of the car and literally we have to push the car and freaking start it. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you guys know about that push start. Literally, it's called push start. Before it was push start, it was push start. You feel me? So, yeah, we have to pop the clutch, start the car, and I have to hop back in and drive home again. Bro, then when I tell you this was like literally my second time learning how to drive manual, I was scared. Jeez. All right, let me not say that. I was scared poopless. Eventually, the motor, the motor blows. I'm racing a, a turbo Civic. Uh, with a with a freaking with a freaking Franken Franken uh Frankenstein swap whatever you guys call it I forgot what it's called um D series motor so I had a Y8 head with a Y7 block I forgot what it was called but I freaking had one of those and I blew it I don't know how I blew it just blew I so I blew the motor I had nothing to drive had to figure out how to go to work. Used to take some Ubers to work. My mom used to drive me off and I used to take my girlfriend's car. Shout out to all all of them. Shout out to Uber for being an Uber. But uh, yeah, man, it was tough. So eventually I swapped the motor, probably like four months down, four or five months down, swapped the motor. Literally like two, three months later, I sell the car. Sold the car for a thousand bucks. And uh, yeah, that was it for the, the EK. So months go by, I'm taking my girlfriend's car to work, taking my mom's car to work, catching Ubers and stuff. After saving up a little chunk of money, I was able to put a down payment on this car. And thank you to everybody else who helped me. But the thing was, I didn't even want Dusty. I did not want a 9th gen SI. I wanted an 8th gen SI. But I could not find one with low miles and wasn't beat up. Every time I found one, it was high miles and it was beat up. And I was like, bro, I'm not trying to get another car payment. Well, I'm not trying to get a car payment and have to still pay the car to be, like, you know, fixed and stuff. That would be stupid. So, like, I tried my best to find one of those. Find a clean age gen, couldn't find one. Believe it or not, I was desperate, bro. I was about to get a Genesis, a 2.0 Genesis Coupe. Don't know why I was about to get one of those. And I, that would have been the stupidest thing of my life. And after, after I wanted to get a Genesis Coupe, I started looking into V-dubs. I started liking the uh, GTI. And I still do like them. I, I don't know. Maybe one day in the future when I have enough, I could probably, you know, afford a, a GTI. But, yeah, I used to look at GTIs like they're very good cars. And they, they put down the power. And it doesn't, doesn't really cost that much to actually do it. So, like, I was really interested on V-dubs. But the thing was, I couldn't find a V-dub. I couldn't find a GTI in manual. I did not want automatic because that means like literally anybody could drive my car and I didn't want anybody driving my car so like that's the reason why I didn't get a GTI do I wish I had a GTI? nah because I really love the, the 9th gen the 9th gen has been sweet to me not one problem with this car also I do baby this car and I do take like the best care I can take of it so like of course nothing bad is going to happen but yo I'm about to hit 80,000 miles, I'm at 76,000, and I had not one issue, not one. I don't know if that would have been the same for the V-Dub, but I know, wow, I had to slam on the brakes, but I know for the for the knife gen, bro, that's normal for them, because K-Series are reliable, Hondas are reliable, V-Dubs, eh, a little iffy. But yeah, so this is basically how I got Dusty, and I'm happy I have her. Leave down below 
what cars you guys wanted before you got your knife gen. I want to see like what you, like you know what was your choices because my choices were very slim at the time, and uh, kind of happy it was because this car has been great and I love it. And like the aftermarket, the aftermarket like support on this car is crazy. The power it can make is crazy. Like I have no complaints. I just wish the head was better on these cars, but after that. There's literally nothing else I'll complain about. This car is amazing. And I'll probably never sell this car because this is probably the last time Honda's ever going to make an all-motor, you know, SI. Or probably even a manual SI. Like, I don't even know. I know the 10th gens are manual, but who knows? The 11th gen might not be manual, so that would be crazy. But, uh, yeah, leave down below on what car you guys wanted before you got your SI. Or even if you don't have a car, leave down below what car you want to have. I just want to see like you know what you guys you know have and what you wanted so that'd be pretty cool so yeah make sure you do that uh if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like comment subscribe follow your boy on instagram at underscore got the soda and uh sorry for the short video well i don't know how long this video is going to be but yeah man i'm gonna i'm gonna put some polls in here so you guys can see some polls but yeah man your boy's out peace